Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your chief. Just call me Ruel. Welcome to my blog, Kamote Express. Please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and by hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when I will upload another video. Thank you. Today we will take up ETA. Estimated Time of Arrival There are a lot of methods in calculating ETA Some you learned in school and some on board ship Here I will show you the easiest way to solve for ETA I call this the GMT method. In this method, you will use GMT on departure, then apply steaming time and apply zone description to obtain ETA in local time. Here there is no need to memorize the rule in crossing the IDL, like adding or subtracting one day. The rule in one of our books is when crossing the IDL in an eastward course minus one day and in westward course add one day. Sometimes this rule is not correct and I will show you why. The IDL is not a straight line but a modified line. Look at these two situations and check if the rule is correct. They are both contrary to the rule. Before, it is safer to say that crossing from east of the IDL to the west of it is minus one day and crossing from west of the IDL to the east of it add one day, but changes in the IDL, for example in the Kiribati Republic, also complicate this rule. So let us forget the IDL in our calculation of ETA to avoid confusion. We will use the GMT method, it is the best way. So we can follow this, departure time in local time applies on description equals departure time in GMT add steaming time equals ETA and GMT apply some description and you can get the ETA in local time as simple as that So let us now see the ETA calculation example. Here is the problem. Calculate the ETA of MB Kamote Express departing from Manila on June 1, 2020 at 1200 hours and going to Los Angeles, California. Distance is 6360 nautical miles and average speed is 15 knots. Sound description of Manila is minus 08 or GMT equals local time minus 08 hours. And sound description of Los Angeles is plus 08 or GMT equals local time plus 08 hours.
let us now see solution to the ETA problem on the next. So here is the given. Distance is 6,360 nautical miles. Average speed 15 knots. Sound description of Manila minus 08. And sound description of Los Angeles is plus 08. Departure time 01 June 2020 at 1200 hours. First, let us solve for the steaming time. Steaming time equals distance divided by speed. Steaming time equals 6,360 nautical miles divided by 15 knots. Knot equals nautical mile per hour. So, steaming time equals 6,360 nautical miles divided by 15 nautical miles per hour. So cancel nautical mile over nautical mile and remains hours. So steaming time is 424 hours. Okay, let us continue. Steaming time equals 424 hours divided by 24 to convert to days. Steaming time equals 17.66667 days. So multiply decimal by 24 to convert to hours. 0 0.66667 times 24 equals 16 hours. So steaming time equals 17 days and 16 hours. Let us now calculate the ETA. Departure time is 01 June 2020 at 12 hours 00, 00 minutes. Applies on description of the departure point minus 08 hours. And we get departure time in GMT 01 June 2020 at 400 hours. We apply the steaming time plus 17 days and 16 hours and then we get ETA in GMT 18 June 2020 at 2800 hours we now have ETA in GMT let us apply some description at arrival point to obtain ETA in local time so ETA in GMT 18 June 2020 at 20 hours 00 minutes we apply some description of arrival point plus 08 we will reverse the sign it will be minus 08 hours we get ETA in local time 18 June 2020 at 12 hours 00 minutes Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you understood how to calculate ETA in the easiest way. If not, then just ask me in the comment section and I will gladly answer your queries. Please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when I will upload another video. Thank you.